Welcome to XR template tutorial lesson number 70. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about a new feature in XR Web Designer MX Premium version 8. And the feature that I'm going to be talking about is the pop up click to close option. And basically, what that's going to allow you to do is give your users the option of when to close a pop up layer rather than it automatically closing. So, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a quick shape. You can pick any quick shape you want from the toolbar and go ahead and draw that in your workspace and just give it a unique color. You already know how to use the color editor if you followed some of my previous tutorials. So you will go ahead and make those changes to your rectangle. And once you've made those changes, we're going to go ahead and go to the page and layer gallery, lock that panel, and we're going to expose the layer. So Make sure you click the little arrow thing there to show your layers that you have open. And once you reveal those layers, we're going to go ahead and create a new layer. So click the new layer button and we're going to call this layer, you know, pop up. Cause that's going to, that's going to be where we place our pop up. You don't have to name it that, you know, you name, name it whatever you would like, but I'm going to name it pop up in this case. And then let's go back to our toolbar and we're going to quick create another quick shape. And we're going to draw that in our workspace and we're going to give it a unique color whatever color you want again and then once you give it the color you want we're going to go ahead and select our selection tool in the toolbar and select the rectangle and then let's go ahead and right click on the rectangle go to web properties and we're going to go to the mouse over tab and in the mouse over tab you're going to click on show pop-up layer and then we're going to select from the drop down menu the layer we just created called pop up. So left click on that, click on effect, and we're going to click on slide in from top for our transition effect. And then under that option, it's going to say close pop up automatically. Well, we don't want our pop up to close automatically. So left click on that and uncheck that box. And that's going to turn off the automatic closing of our pop-up. So let's go ahead and click OK, hit apply, hit OK, and then go to file, preview website. So if we click on this rectangle, or place our cursor over it, I mean, you'll see that it brings in this circle and it stays there. But if you want to close it out, we click on this X button and it'll get rid of that circle that just came in. So you place your cursor over it, the circle comes in and then you click the X to close it out. Whereas in the past, let's go ahead and right click on this rectangle again and go to web properties. And under the mouse over tab, we're going to go back to the show pop-up layer and click on effect. And this time we're going to check that box that says close pop-up automatically. And hit OK, hit apply, OK, and then go to file, preview website and watch what happens when we place our cursor over it. Now we have our cursor over it, if we move it off, the circle goes away. So instead of it staying there like before, it actually goes away. So the new feature is the ability to actually keep it there until the user says, hey, I want to close this out. But you may have text in there. So when you create your mouse over state, you may want that to stay there so that they can read the content and then when they're done reading, then they can close it. You know, whereas right now they won't be able to do that if they move their cursor off of the object. So that's the new feature for uh, the pop up click to close option. Uh, there's another way you can do it too, but I'm not going to go over that right now. But in general, know that you can now have the option uh, to give your user where they can close the mouse over state when they're ready rather than it automatically closing. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, please send me a message on YouTube. Leave any comments you want. Subscribe, embed, give a, th give a thumbs up if it was helpful. And I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.